Hello, everyone. I don't really have much to talk about today. Um, I think I haven't done a reflection video in a little bit and was thinking I'm, I'm kind of, I don't know, tired. And I, I would prefer to take a day off from doing some interviews. I did some editing yesterday for that uh, Cupid's Rad Grad 80s walkathon video, which is a nice little time capsule for our, uh, our acting crew, you know, when we're older. <clears throat> and also it was just fun to, to do that and send that out. And I guess today I'd like to reflect a little bit on how defensive and sensitive I can be um, with people. And um, yeah, I guess what I mean by that is uh, I'm quick to, to judge people. I'm quick to, I'm quick to react to things that people say to me sometimes. And uh, I was thinking about that this morning and I wonder what it is like I have this sense of myself as you know I'm I'm right about a lot of things you know and, you know I'm a smart person and I know a lot you know and I know my experience and I know my judgment and it's led me to be where I am now which is a place where I'm very proud of I'm very proud of myself uh, and I consider myself confident but sometimes that that confidence and that pride can turn into arrogance, can turn into hubris is the first word that has come into mind, you know, the downfall. And um, I need to actively every day think, what can I learn from today? What can I learn from other people? You know, the world doesn't revolve around me. It's hard for me. It's actually really hard for me. Um, yeah. So, so today, that's what I'm working on. Um, I don't know. What are you guys working on? Would love to hear kind of what, what's going on with you guys. What are some of the thoughts that are going on in your heads? What are some of the insecurities that you have about yourself? My insecurity is that I need to be right. Because if I'm not right, then that means I'm not going about the world in the right way. If I'm wrong, then I'm, it's in my mind, it's a reflection of, oh, and I'm not just, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong about everything. You know, if I'm wrong, what makes, if I'm wrong in this instance, then what, then wouldn't I be wrong in that instance or in that instance and blah, blah, blah. And uh, that's ego. That is ego. I have such a big ego. You know, I, I think, I mean, I, I think I am very good at not being judgmental towards people listening, you know, And uh, I, I guess I'm not afraid to come off as dumb often, you know? I'm not afraid to, you know, if someone, if I say something and then another person like specifies my language or like corrects me, I'm usually pretty good with letting that go because there are bigger things in the world than a correction and I mean, when I'm hanging out with people, I don't like to correct them. I want to just be with them. I want to spend time with them, you know? I don't really want to correct. Because what is to correct? It means to correct someone means that you think there's a right way to go about things. I mean... Is there a right way to go around anything? To me, to me, the things that matter are empathy, listening, caring, and to be aware of 
how I come off to other people as caring and loving, constructive. Uh, so, yeah, I guess that that's something that's going on through through my going through my head right now. And what else? That's really it. Um, yeah. So I uh, I also want to shout out uh, Vexy Bro, who I talked to. He was my nineteenth interview back in July, and uh, I just did like a long term interview with him two days ago, and I had just such a blast. Vexy Bro is one of my first YouTube friends. My one of my first friends made through YouTube. Pretty awesome. He's a pretty cool dude. A great listener. Very earnest, uh, and he shared some really great um, stories about himself. And we talked about COVID and how society and our and government how how they can better support us. You know how people need that support these days. People are poor. People are hurting. People are misunderstood. People are suffering, all in different ways. Right, mental illness financially, you know, people's parents are hurt or disabled. And so they're taking care of their parents or they're taking care of their grandparents or they're taking care of their kids or their grandkids who are disabled or poor or misunderstood or neglected. And we really need to do better in our societies. We are only as strong as our weakest link. You know, I have a few acting projects I'm doing. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going to move after this. After Tallahassee, I have no idea where I'm going to move. I may move to Denver. I may move to Pittsburgh. I may move to New York. California is a possibility. Santa Fe, New Mexico is a possibility. I don't know. Yeah, but um, I mean, this is all to say that life is really good for me right now. I'm one of the luckiest people in the world. I would love to hear your story if you're listening, if you're watching. Shoot me an email, buildingbridges505 at gmail.com. And um, yeah, let me know if you want to hang out. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I, I think that's going to be it. It's going to be a light day today. So I've got some reading I need to do. I need some, to send some emails. I need to do some acting stuff. I do have a full to-do list, of course. Will I complete all of it? I can't be hard on myself for not completing it. You know, life is more than completing checklists. It's about living life too. So, all right, guys. Hey, love all of you. Thank you again for, for all of your love, all of your listening and attention. And it means more to me than you know. Okay. Okay. Stay truthful, stay honest, stay sincere, and let's fight corruption both in our, in our societies and in our homes. Let's prioritize communication and love and empathy, proactive empathy, okay? All right, bye.